I'm Lady Aska, and today I want to talk about a little program called Webcam Motion Capture that gives you amazing tracking, including your hands, with just your webcam. As a little heads up, this app is not for free, but offers various payment options from subscription to one-time payment or even their referring program, where you can get months for free for every person that you refer to the program and it gets a subscription in the end. Now, I would make a big deal out of this if it wasn't something really useful and impressive, especially for people who were searching for an alternative to the Leap Motion. As you may know, I'm not a big Leap Motion fan, even though I own one myself, because mine overheats quickly and this only works if it works. If you download Webcam Motion Capture from their website, you can first try the features for free and verify if you like the tracking or not. As usual, the tracking quality depends on your lighting situation in your room and preferably no distracting things in the background or around you. It could hinder the capture. You can smooth the tracking a bit with the program itself with their provided sliders and it even provides eye movement tracking and pretty impressive face tracking in general. Once you download the zip folder, you unzip it and open Web Motion Capture, which will automatically start both programs. The webcam capture program, which I won't show now as it would reveal your face, and the actual program. If you're afraid that your real face might leak, you can disable the webcam through this option here at the bottom. Don't forget to load your own model in and have fun experimenting with the settings, even before purchase. The links are, as always, down in the description. The program also allows you to send the data over to VC Face, but that is a feature that only becomes available once you made the payment. It is super easy to set up though, and if you watched for example my tutorial on the VRM Posing Desktop app, then you know already how it works. But here's a little refresher, if you need it. You open up VC Face and select the same avatar as the one that you already uploaded to the webcam motion capture. Then you open up the general settings and scroll all the way down to OSC VMC Receiver and type in the same port number that is displayed in the capture app. The cool thing here is that you can decide if you want to receive the hand tracking and get the face tracking through another source like Radio, Eye Facial Mocap or Meow Face, or if you like the face tracking of the program enough to already just use it like that. I customize it to a point where I could get the best of both worlds and it's amazing. I really can't recommend this enough. A tutorial on how to set up Meow Face for example can be found here. I linked it in the top corner if you're having trouble with it. Now, a little comparison between the Leap Motion and the program itself, and a few pros and cons. First, the biggest point for the program is obviously that you don't need any extra gadgets, but the webcam that you should have at hand already. For the record, I'm using a Logitech C920 here, but I believe any decent webcam can give you a similar result. As for the precision, it's pretty amazing honestly, as the finger precision is slightly better than the Leap Motion while the movement of the leap motion is a tiny bit smoother. Both offer only a certain window of interaction, which means once your hands leave this area, the webcam is not able to track them anymore. But the same goes for the leap motion. You can stretch this a bit by sitting further behind and thus giving the webcam a broader field of interactivity, which in itself is really great already. Another pretty surprising point is that the app itself does take less resources from your PC compared to VC Face itself while in use, which means it could be a great alternative for people with less powerful setups if you don't need any of the other wonderful features of VC Face. The only really negative point that I could find was that there is nearly no body movement available through this tracking method. If I enable VC Face locomotion option and disable the fixed tip, then I can see my avatar going basically everywhere, but not really where I want. If you don't need the illusion of body movement, this is pretty great, as I believe the strongest point of the tracking is actually the eye movement if you don't have iPhone tracking at your disposal. It gives the whole avatar a much more lively appearance in general. I hope you have tons of fun using the app and let me know in the comments what you think. See you guys next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.